hair yanked out, face scratched, Mumbai woman's horror Uber pool trip after tip over last drop June Paul posted about the incident on Facebook and Twitter, wherein she claimed that the accused started shouting at the driver by because she paid the most and was still getting dropped last. The incident turned violent when June intervened. Mumbai, a Mumbai-based journalist was assaulted, abused by her Uber pool co-passenger after the latter got enraged at being dropped last. June Paul posted about the incident on Facebook and Twitter, wherein she claimed that the accused started shouting at the driver by because she paid the most and was still getting dropped last. The incident turned violent when June intervened. Reasoning with her was futile. She called me all sorts of names and tried to provoke me when I went completely quiet. She went on her abusive rant calling me the worst abuses that I'm too ashamed to mention, wrote the journalist. The accused then allegedly slammed the handrest on June's bag, hand, and asked her to remove the dirty things. When June complied, it seemingly pushed the accused over the edge. It was almost near me a state in lower peril, where her drop was, when she went completely racist and called me slurs. I told her it's racist to which she said, Han T.O.H. Yuck our leggy, yeah, so? What will you do, said the entertainment journalist. When June tried to click her picture, the aggressive woman snatched the phone and threatened to break it. Before she got out of the cab, the accused attacked June by tearing off lumps of her hair and scratching the journalist's face, hands. Started crying, she hopped off the cab and went inside Ermi Estate. A crowd gathered. The guard of Ermia State came to my rescue and asked me to file a police complaint immediately. I was too shocked and was crying hysterically, so it didn't even occur to me that this woman has run away inside her office building. Went to Lower Paro Police Station and filed an official fur, wrote June on Facebook. When the police and the journalist contacted Uber for information on the accused, the company refused stating, customer privacy. I have been physically and verbally assaulted in broad daylight by a complete stranger. The whole back seat of Uber is full of clumps of my hair. I have injuries on my face and hands. I'm definitely psychologically scarred. Uber won't do anything when it comes to my safety. If they don't respect what the Mumbai police are saying to them, I am a mere civilian and definitely, I am not safe, said June. And for has been registered against an unknown individual for under Section 322, voluntarily causing hurt, and 504, intentional insult with intent to provoke breach of the peace, for the Indian Penal Code. Few hours after the incident went viral on social media, Uber got in touch with June and assured her action against the accused. What's been described today is deeply upsetting and is completely against our community guidelines. The co-writer in question cannot access the app. We've reached out to law enforcement authorities to offer any information that could be helpful in their proceedings. We stand ready to support their investigation into this incident, said a company's spokesperson. The cab aggregator also refunded the ride fare to Paul. June has expressed her displeasure with the response from the company. She is demanding strict action against Uber and the accused.